authorities there, recommend fixed it. not to approach the individual. I think you should be good now. First, they came for the foreigners. I fixed it. I did not speak out because I was not a foreigner. What are you guys excited for? Then they came for the protesters. You guys excited for Watch Dogs? I did not speak out because I was not a protester. What, the drones? He's... Oh. Then they came for the journalists. Yeah. And I did not speak out because I was not a journalist. And then they came for street artists. And I did not speak out. Because I am not a street artist. Yo, that's a cool mask, though. I wonder, I wonder if they're going to, I'm assuming they're going to show us a lot of gameplay of Watch Dogs today. Yeah, this is like a movie, you know? And I realized that eventually they'd come for me and there would be no one left to speak for me. Rainbow Six Quarantine, that's what you're looking forward to? I think this is like the like the trailer to Watch Dogs Legions. Right? That's the new Watch Dogs. To the resistance. Here's a welcome gift for our new members. But the disappearance of the criminal. You could have told me it was a bloody costume party. Try it on. The new key suspect has been identified as David Ford, a 43 year old London taxi driver. He has no criminal record but is currently believed to be a terrorist. People have been asked not to approach him. The authorities advise all residents. I'm Clint Hawking. Here we Clint go. Finally, we get to see the game. Creative force here at Ubisoft, and now he's bringing this. That's what I want to see. I want to see the game. Um, so yeah, what we just saw was an amazing short film by the director Alberto Mielgo that uh, was inspired by Watch Dogs Legion and looks at at the game and the universe and the characters through his incredible uh, artistic vision and visual style. The city needs a resistance. The pig mask from like Division. Film, Watch Dogs Legion. Well, that actually looks good. Of ordinary heroes setting aside their differences in order to come together as a collective and to fight for Yo, the graphics on that actually look good. You see it? You can literally recruit and play anyone who you see in the open world. You profile people that are interesting to you. You help them. With Is this on next gen graphics? Mission. Just help me get some closure and I'll do whatever you want. Sounds like a dead sec problem. Leave it to us. And that's how you recruit them into your team. And then they become the heroes of the game and, and the stars of your story. And what are you doing in my flat? You with Albion? Please, think more underground. You with Albion? I'm tickled, but think more underground. What, dead sick? Yeah, right, and I'm Che Guevara. You're done. And they make the story not only, you know, unique to them, but unique to you as the player and, and personal to you because they're, you know, heroes that you've chosen and invested in. What would I say to fans? I guess I'd say, you know, uh, take care of yourselves, stay safe. Welcome to the resistance. So on this game, we could play as multiple characters, right? I heard you could play oh, as like an old lady. Town. 
a modern metropolis built on history and prosperity. Only took 12,000 years to build it up and one night to tear it all down. Oh my God. Listen up. Get all your units to move in and lock down the city. With London under attack by a mysterious terrorist, the government turns to a private military company called Albion to keep everyone safe. This looks what good could though. Possibly go wrong. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Nigel Cass, CEO of Albion. He's it's either PC or next gen for sure. Understand this. I will not allow anyone. This not isn't PS4 or Xbox graphics. To jeopardize this. He will stop at nothing to permanently control the city. <laughs> he smacked that dude in the face. <laughs> London will be the first city in the world to be made truly safe. Nigel's not the only opportunist who's taken a liking to this fair city. Oh, shit. Meet Mary Kelly, head of the most powerful crime syndicate in London. Be sure and spread the word. She and her goons are using the dark web that guy to sell like from the division. everything, from party pills to people. This microchip is scary, I know, but I've got to keep tracks on my merchandise, don't I? You make As anyone afraid. you recruit, you can play? Oh, that's pretty cool. You do not want to ruffle her feathers. With the city out on its ass, it now falls on you to build a I think this game doesn't this game not come out to 2021? Alright, everyone. It was supposed it's to come out this year, but I think they delayed it till next year. The brave Londoners you see walking the streets. I'm not sure though. Can be recruited into your team. Ah, oh, that's cool. Like him. Her. Or even her. Yo, that's who I'm playing with. I'm playing with Granny. Everyone can become your next secret weapon. <laughs> I'm playing with Granny for sure. We need to get some dirt on Nigel Cass, and that means breaking into Whooping that ass with the crane inside the Tower of London. <laughs> All the hardy souls you see here oh, are people we have recruited. Oh, that's from pretty, the pretty cool. Look at that. They got what? they all have unique abilities, and you're free to tackle this mission with whoever that's you like. Cool. It's this year. I thought it was this year, but I thought they delayed it. Zip up, get to work, and let's never talk about this again. Like everyone in DeadSec, Arthur can hack pretty much whatever. But as a construction Granny. worker, yeah. he has a particular set of tools that make him handy. He can even call his own cargo. Oh. Hey, that's pretty cool. Perfect for gate crashing when you're not invited. And who needs a regular old gun when you have a bloody nail gun? Come here, you soidoid shithorn. Okay, this actually looks kind of cool. <laughs> he's hitting him with the... He's hitting him with the nail gun. We could approach this mission differently. If you'd rather keep your distance, we've got you covered. Amy is a drone expert. Was he just shooting that dude in the face with the nail gun? A real tech connoisseur. I hate spiders, but love this one. What an adorable creepy crawler. Here we are. Let's class the place up. Was she like Spider-Man? The drone expert does have the unique ability to summon their own drone. This little oh. darling is fast and stealthy. She aimed, she fired, she hit. I'm That's kind of cool. Drones. I always thought they should have did something like that in the division. Let you control the drones. She can also hack enemy drones, turning the tide in her favor. But you can like focus like weak points. A direct confrontation. There are more cool. ways than one to get the job done. Who's this? Recruiting an Albion officer like Brielle here might be challenging. But it'll get you inside restricted Albion areas. Oh, this is about to whoop that. Don't mind me. Look at, look at, look at him. Look what he's about to do. Insurgents. However, do anything suspicious and she'll probably wind up with a bullet in the back of her head. Joan Spider-Man. <laughs> We're missing the human element here. I can get the defense minister on the line right now. If you feel you must. Oh. Criminals 
criminals running our streets. Illegals. Splinter Cell? Maybe they'll announce it. I don't know what they're announcing for Ubisoft. They have a bunch of games. Assassinated supposedly. by terrorists. Well, that seems to be enough evidence. Next up, we're crashing Mary Kelly's organ farming operation and putting a stop to it. That's good. The buyers expect high quality stuff. What's going on, Q9? We need a hard nut for this. Impairing our frontal lobe again, are we? Bags, don't disturb me in my natural habitat. Say hello to Mickey. The man lives for his team. The game looks good, though. I'm not gonna like the graphics look good dirty. so far. It kind of like a GTA, right? I've never been into like a Watch Dogs game, but this kind of this was it reminds me of like a GTA, but you play with multiple characters. And he's passed out. Ah, oh, well, we'll come back to him. You know what? Let's go with someone a bit more professional. Was good, bro. Um, I just bought a package. Check it out. It's almost crass to call him a hitman. What kind of package, man? Oh, this is who I want to play with. Oh, this is like John Wick of Watch Dogs. All right, this, that, that's my character right there. That's who I want. Yo, this is the John Wick of Watch Dogs. <laughs> oh, this dude's a banner. Yeah, he moves like him too. Here's the bastard responsible. <sighs> Come on, Done kids. and dusted. Not bad. First Watch Dog game was garbage. The second one was much better. Not I never played any of them. Is a legendary assassin or a super spy, but everyone can be a hero. But that last character, I'm down. I'm down for him. The John Wick of Watch Dogs. That dude is moving that. So get out there, find the best recruits. It does. It's definitely a game I want to keep my eye on. Is this game online or is it offline only? Is it like one of those ones that you can like play with other people, or do you always play by yourself? Oh, thank you, bro. I appreciate it, man. Hey, thanks for the support, man. Plunging the player into a living, breathing city, teeming with unique locales and characters, has always been a central pillar of the Watch Dogs series. So what goes into building those worlds? Here's Amanda Mutt to tell us more. My name's Amanda Mutt. I'm a level artist on Watch Dogs Legion at Ubisoft Toronto. Being a level artist, I think, is the coolest job in video games because we do get the freedom to to kind of like pick and choose what little they need to do PvP. To they need to do like an open world setting, right? Like um, tell the stories that we want Grand Theft the Auto that we're assigned to. With the open world like I this, that would be kind of cool. Things and you know, like small little Easter eggs. In AC Unity, there was a boat somewhere in the world that was covered in cats. And then it like happened sleeping again in dogs? Watch Dogs too. And there may or may not be something in London that is a boat filled with cats in some capacity. So. <laughs> I was fortunate enough to go to E3 last year. Some of the people that I was showing our demo to were from London. So no matter I want to go to E3. Things, you know, I've never been to like the E3 like big Kansas. event. You know, this feels like Southern. This feels like Westminster. When people are talking about some detail that I've put into the world and they're excited about it, like that feels so good as somebody who. Watch you know, 2 has an invasion stuff care. where players <laughs> could come back, would come in and hack you, and you had to get them before they extracted. But that was all online, Mr. Mex? A hacker versus hacker? Okay. And now some news for Brawl Hollow fans. In just a few weeks, you'll be able to battle it out with your favorite legends on iOS and Android devices. Brawlhalla? What's this? What game is this? Brawlhalla. It's a cartoonish Three, game? Two, one, brawl. What is this, like a mobile game? Oh, it is. Mobile gaming gone wild. Crossplay with everyone. Is 
It looks good for a mobile game. Hmm. I'm not into mobile games. How many of you guys play mobile games? Do you guys like? Do you guys ever play on your phone? Like, I feel like I played like enough games on PlayStation 4, PC that I don't play games on my mobile. Got you covered. Hey, thank you for the $4.99. Mr. Smith, I appreciate it, bro. Thank you, thank you. Nothing but love. It has been out? Oh, you played on Xbox? Oh, so it's just coming to mobile now? I can never find a game to keep me interested longer than a couple days. That's how gaming is sometimes. Brawlhalla is more of a Ubisoft answer to Smash Brothers. Ah, I got you, I got you. The target is being held on the ground floor. Elite Squad? I never heard of this game. Wait, those are the aren't those the guys from um Rainbow Six? Yeah. What game is this? Elite Squad? Spicy, no, they have oh Breakpoint. I think that they're bringing AI. They did it at the pre-show. But they haven't said anything about division yet. Chain is down. Request air support. Target northeast rooftop. Roger. Inbound. Danger close. This looks like Fortnite. I need an EMP to but it now. EMP imminent. This I got like the Fortnite graphics. <laughs> I like this card. I like cartoonish graphics like this though. Get back in your cell. Oh, the Splinter Cell guy. Ha. What is this? Is this like a... Hey, take this. Don't make me regret this. I have not seen anything on this game. What, what is this? Anybody know about this? Team Speaking Fortress of type of fancy, game. It's been five years since Rainbow Six Siege first launched, Sanford. and the community has never been stronger. In celebration of so the are they going Ubisoft to? Montreal has put together a special I, video. I, I wonder what the, the game is about, though. I gotta look that up. That what was it? Elite Siege Squad. We're gonna look it up. We'll look it up after the stream. Elite Squad. Let's remember that. See if we can find some more stuff on it on YouTube or something. In December 2015, a small team released Rainbow Six, Rainbow Siege? Six Siege. Yo, this game, Rainbow Six Siege, has been out, what, 10 years now? Strong Six, seven? Creativity, competitiveness, and team play. I never got into it, but I played it here and there. But people love this game. That original vision was quickly adopted by our passionate community, uh, propelling it to No, they have not shown anything Division 2 yet. Oh my God. Woo! I got it! I got it! It's a mobile game? Such a moment. Oh. Elite Squad's a mobile game? Ah, oh, man. Now, game being a I might not be excited. players today than we had in the past. It means uh, the world to us. But we also had our share of challenges. Why not Splinter Cell for PS5? I think if they release a Splinter Cell, it will be for next gen and PC. So it'd be for the next gen Xbox, next gen PS5, and then of course. Through it all, we're always driven by the lack of story mode killed Rainbow Six. And together, their community is still strong though. People love um, no Rainbow Six just for the multiplayer, the like so their community. Rainbow Six has like a fan base that follows them diehard.
tous les succès, c'est vraiment le résultat de... Elite Squad, the only way I'm going to get anything new with Sam Fisher. Le nôtre, nous, l'équipe des Now 60 million players strong, we're just getting started. What, what's the reason behind them not releasing another Splinter Cell? From the devs that build the game to the community that I'm sure that it. I'm sure um, Splinter Cell's Thank always you. sold really well. They always throw it in like they always mention it like in Ghost Recon Breakpoint, um, Ghost Recon, like um, Wildlands. They had like little cameos. If you haven't tried it yet, dive into our new Operation Steel Wave like update Sam Fisher's available always in there. now and take Ace and Malusi out for a spin. A few days ago, we introduced y'all to a brand new multiplayer shooter. R6 now, is toxic. It's time to venture into the hyperscape. Um, yeah, I have a Discord server. Let me get it for you, man. Let me get you guys the invite. in the hyperscape that's not supposed to be there let me get you all up to speed okay here you go that's that's the about skills discord right ago, there if you want to see it everything that we feared about our future started to come true we made some good oh, hold decisions on. i put in the wrong one we made some bad decisions actually we made a lot hyperscape? of bad decisions oh this is that game so I'm not a fan of it. I've seen people playing it, but I wasn't really... I haven't played it, though, so maybe that's... I can't really judge it until I play it. But the people at Prisma changed everything. This is already out, isn't it? It's that free... This is the free-to-play um, battle royale. The Hyperscape. With Twitch, it has Twitch integration on it. So, like, you... When you're, when you're watching somebody on Twitch play it, you can can become you can push what you want them to to do like well i'm not do but it kind of like dictates how the game goes i think that's how it works i watched a couple streams of it but i haven't played it so i i, I couldn't give you guys Either I'm losing my motivation for video games or developers are running out of ideas. I think when you get older, you stop playing games as much, man. Um, your attention spans a little bit different. A darker secret lies at the heart of Hyperscape, and we have to find it. Some of us are searching for a way up. Some of us for a way out. And for others, a new way all together. That's what brings us to the edge of the future. To the hyperscape. I'm JC, creative director on Hyperscape. JC's work on Far Cry Primal and multiple Prince of Persia titles has established him as a top creative here at Ubisoft. For me, what's exciting is uh, we started uh, building it from scratch, uh, seeing it grow, uh, adding ideas uh, is really cool. Hello, contender. Welcome to the hyperscape. I'm 42, so quick hours in. It's in a future where humanity has grown a little darker. Hey, I'm not saying everybody grows out of it, but like, I mean, like, I feel like you game a lot more when you're younger. And, the internet of the and then when you get older, you game a little bit less. Or like games don't, or you've played so many games, you're looking for that specific game you want. takes place in the virtual city of Neo Arcadia. I wish this game was third person. Then we also introduce a lot of new things. You get the opportunity to do parkour on the rooftops, to go into interiors where it's much more narrow, much more stressful. Uh, you get to go to the landmarks where there's more uh, opportunities to get cool items, but also more players, so it's a risk reward kind of deal. 53 you play more now than I ever have. Hey, QB, you can pick up on yeah. the flight and adapt your tactics. With hacks, you can do things like uh, teleport yourself. Uh, you can wrap yourself into a ball and uh, bounce around the battlefield. So a lot of abilities that let you have fun, that are toys that you can play with. 
What do you guys think about this? Are you guys about this? Finally, like, I, I've watched people play it. So all the viewers will be able to interact with the game. Yeah, we got, we, we got the crew in today. The older game is in right now. Minutes, there's going to be a vote, and viewers will be able to decide what Once a player, always a player. So things like changing <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, infinite <laughs> ammo or stuff like that. So players, well, game time really have to adapt for some is limited, so you, is you want to make sure you play the game worth that time. Yeah. So for me, it's really exciting because right now, as we speak, we are launching the open. You play data, doing so maintenance thing? Um, I'm not for, sure, Jay. Uh, free to play for all PC players worldwide. And I really want to thank all the players, all the streamers, and all the viewers who participated in Tech Test and who will participate in the open beta. Here's a short glimpse of what you can expect. Hyperscape. Yo, if it was third person, you could make money off of the skins. Like, I don't understand why more games don't go third person. Especially free to play. Then you can actually see the skins you're using. I don't know. I'm a third person player. Like, I like first person some games. Like, I'll play Warzone and stuff, but I always think, like. It doesn't look bad at all, though. Alright, where are we going? Only beta. Oh, so it's in beta mode right now? July 12th? Wait, there's a beta today? world of the hyperscape? Gave our artists and developers incredible freedom when it came to designing characters. Oh, it's open beta right now. Guys, oh, well, if you guys have PC, you guys want to try it design. out. If you guys are look, if you guys liked it, you guys can My try it out right Anna now. Anna Maria Muska. I'm the production manager for characters and weapons. I prefer third person, game. especially if you can customize we a character. Yeah, I agree. An exceptional amount of detail to our characters. We switch different outfits, different fashion statements, different tattoos, different materials. Until Ubisoft we see is down in Europe. Individuals. As real people, kind of looks like so Overwatch. The second you pick a character, you see them in game, you understand what their motivations are and what drives them and what challenges them. This was the first lineup of characters. This is our default. See when you, they do they, when they do cool even characters. Starting from the hair down, everything has been meticulously You miss you mi you don't get to see that when you play. Like this type of outfit with this person, enjoy the type of tattoos that we're putting on them. Will they actually like to be in this body? Each season, we plan to. It's only about first person shooters. Like, I always. So we're hoping some They put of all this effort into how a character looks. And maybe even correlate. But then you really don't even get to see the character, you know? We're very excited. You get to, to see, see like, the hands, hands, and that's it. You get to see all the other player characters. As we move into the next generation of gaming, Ubisoft has been working closely with I the suck at games to take when you only get one life. All the extraordinary capabilities these Ubisoft is down in the US too. Now we have a special guest to tell us a little more. Hey everyone, Phil Spencer from Xbox. With Watch Dogs Legion, Ubisoft is supporting smart delivery. So you will get the absolute best version of the game on any version of Xbox you're playing on. On Series X, you'll get to take advantage of the amazing work the team has done with DirectX ray tracing to create an absolutely um, amazing I don't know if they do a Division 3. I think they're just going like to they're going to keep before. expanding on Division 2, Ubisoft man. Ubisoft has a unique ability to create immersive worlds, setting a new bar that continues to drive our industry forward. I was so disappointed with Brink. I'm a huge so much fan potential of Assassin's Creed. Oh, this Assassin's Creed right now? Exploring the world in Assassin's Creed Yo, this Odyssey. game has to look amazing for me to buy it. To well, for me to play it. Gameplay from Assassin's Creed Valhalla that's coming up now. If Assassin's Creed All right. Valhalla is it to hear more about this amazing? Game it was announced back in April. I don't know. I don't and know. Now it's time for a deep dive into the world of Vikings. Finally, we get to see the gameplay, right? My name is Julien Laferriere, and I'm the producer of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So a couple of weeks ago, Valhalla. we announced Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and the reaction Valhalla. from the fans was just <laughs> amazing. The time period of Vikings is really, really inspiring. 
when we did our research, I hope they make Division Three. That, you know, they were not mindless. Probably not for a while, man. CD. Vikings were actually farmers trying to find new lands for them to settle, and so they had really human motivations. So for us to have this opportunity to tell kind of the real story about Vikings and kind of separate ourselves from the myths and the folklore is really something that drove us to, to make this game. I don't know if they're going to show anything for Division. To take the same roads that the Vikings did to really experience what it meant to be a Viking at that time. And then leaving Norway, which is barren but majestic, and just coming by boat in England and see those rolling green hills full of sheep, full of life, is just this moment that most likely the Vikings felt as well. You need to see this land of opportunity. And this is exactly the feeling we want players to experience in this game. It is a personal adventure, you know? It is the story of Eivor, a Viking chieftain. Eivor is uh, either a male or a female. You decide when you start the game. Who are you guys gonna play with if you get it? The male or the female? Norway to settle I don't know, England I kinda like how the girl looks. You just can't live in Norway. I like girl characters. So. too much political pressure, no resources available. Dude reminds me from the guy from Vikings. Obviously in England, it's full of Anglo-Saxons and other people, and they don't really want you there. So you will have to fight your way there to kind of build your own settlement and see your clan prosper. Who cut the grass back then? <laughs> I think it was the animals Vikings that actually ate the warriors. grass, Ricky. Shields! And the fact that they were mastering a lot of weapons coming from the medieval times who really cut the grass back to then kind of revamp the fight system <laughs> to leverage the brutality and the intensity of viking combat vikings were not only fighting face to face they were masters of stealth and deception when needed they used basically any sort of tactics they could use to win the battle so we want to portray the full range of combat that you can imagine coming from the Vikings. We are very happy to finally be able to show you the game we're all been working on. So please enjoy this deep dive into Assassin's Creed Valhalla. They could have just called this game Valhalla. They didn't have to call it Assassin's Creed. In Assassin's Creed Valhalla, you will relive the epic saga of the Viking invasion of England. Oh. You play as Eivor, a Viking from Norway, who will lead his or her battle-hardened warriors across the North Sea to the British Isles. Eivor is driven by an ambitious goal to build a thriving Norse settlement in a hostile land. Yo, I think don't the graphics look better on Watchdog? Today we raid, that tomorrow we may build. England is a dark age tangle of broken kingdoms and warring dynasties. A land of opportunity and riches. As you prowl Yo, England's the, rivers by land. I'm a little disappointed on the graphics. I'm not gonna be, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Ground your ship and it kind of looks horn, like PS3. Not really, but like, like, like PS4 for... Maybe at least use the PC graphics. Your crew will assist you in all your raids. I'm starting to try this out. Been a fan of Assassin's Creed franchise since the beginning. Battering down doors and stealing cargo too heavy. But don't the graphics to you? Hey, do, am I the only one? Like the Whatever graphics look a little low budget, right? Village may be used to develop your settlement, giving you access to useful services better tools and new settlers at the heart of your settlement is the alliance map it will serve as a record of the allies you have like i i wouldn't like watchdog blew this game away in graphics the viking age was a time of warriors from what i saw legends. from the gameplay in valhalla you will find the largest variety of enemies ever assembled in an assassin's creed game 
Every archetype offers a unique challenge. Some will coordinate with their allies for special attacks, while others will use nearby objects to their The advantage. graphics are crap, they'll blame COVID. The bodies of fallen <laughs> warriors. <laughs> Assassin's Creed attacks, 3 graphics. You must find and exploit your opponent's Every best aim to gain the upper hand. Take the fight to your foes with a host of brutal new combat abilities. Snare them with a Viking harpoon. Pummel them with throwing axes. Incapacitate them with the new stun system to keep them at a distance. Yo. Or finish them off. I would rather them delay this game and improve the graphics. In-game graphics. I like the combat system, though. This combat system is actually pretty cool. Fighting style as you see fit, and become a legendary Viking warrior. I think I'm gonna. I would get watchdogs over this game. Available to dual wield. I'm not trying to be two shields. Negative, but. Oh, the moves are nice, though. Situations call for violence. In this new land, a Viking must find a way to adapt. As Eivor is not welcome in England, you may need to outsmart your enemies, avoiding unwanted attention in towns and bustling cities. Use Eivor's hood and cloak to blend with crowds and slip past watchful eyes, an unseen hunter among the people. From capital cities and villages to the dense forests and rolling hills of England, exploration is vital to keeping yourself sharp. Yeah, you Anthony, they showed the Watchdog. If you enjoy. wait, I'll have the live stream after, and then you can Hunt and rewind it and watch it. Your health and fortify your equipment. Like the, this stream will go live. And they just showed it, like one game before Since this one. Pagan temples and Roman ruins for new it looked really good. Challenges to strengthen yourself and your settlement. Right. The more like you explore, the combat system's the more cool. Secrets you will reveal. I mean, the environment's cool, but I feel like, Ravens, like, look at the graphics on the video. But as you push deeper into England, I don't know. I'm trying to give him the benefit of the back. doubt, guys. But in a series of climactic moments, Assassin's Creed Valhalla will feature massive assaults in which you will lead Eivor's army into battle against. It might be one of those games you wait a little bit and then you buy it. Today, Who knows? Tomorrow, we but, but it's crazy that you show watchdogs and you see like the difference. Assassin's Creed Valhalla will transport you to wondrous and haunted lands inspired by Norse myths and England's pagan roots. You got uh, a challenge and surprise thank you, man. with unforgettable characters, thrilling triumphs and tragic losses, giving you the chance yeah. to live your own Viking saga. I think the whole Vikings thing is cool. I think they need to, graphics wise, they need to work on it a little bit. I don't know. Um, Was there a Watch Dogs freebie or something? What do you mean? They showed, they actually showed the Watch Dogs like gameplay. Ninth century England is truly unlike anything the franchise has seen before. Maybe they're using mid-budget graphics cards? Assassin's Creed Valhalla were released this holiday season on Maybe. Xbox Series X, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, PS4, PC, and Stadia. You know, you know what Thanks I think is going to hurt but next gen? Go, our CEO, Eve Gimo, is here to share a few words. I hope you will have enjoyed what you have seen today, and that you will love playing these games. I am proud of our teams for delivering an ambitious, broad, and creative lineup of games. And we haven't shown you everything yet. In fact, we have a lot more to come. So you will have another Ubisoft forward to reveal even more about our upcoming games. But before ending this show, we have one more thing to share with you. Division 2? Oh, Far Cry. Right? Yeah. 
yeah. Yeah, Far Cry 6, right? I never, I, hey, don't, don't, don't judge me. I never finished Far Cry 5. Did you guys? They gotta show us some kind of graphics, no? Like a gameplay? Something? They're hyping us up. Yeah, we'll Gus from Breaking Bad. Yeah, I saw that. I have something for you, Diego. Give me your hands. Papa. Now, Give the grenade me. is simple. It has four basic parts. The shell, which contains the explosive, the fuse, the handle, and of course, the pin. What are you doing? simply holds the handle in place. It is only when you let go that this grenade goes boom. Follow me. Don't trip now. <laughs> best for them if you only want to save them from themselves they will hate you Diego everything you say do believe will be wrong oh shit No gameplay? They will answer you with screams. Call you evil. A monster. And give you this. So you tell me. Are you evil? Now. 
did he drop a knee? Oh, it comes out in February? Huh. That one was kind of kept quiet. And with that, we're wrapping up our first Ubisoft Forward.